Now, the broadcaster and author Baroness Bakewell, Joan Bakewell, has again apologised for comments suggesting that eating disorders such as anorexia, for example, were a sign of narcissism in society. Her remarks were published in yesterday's Sunday Times. She said she'd been misinterpreted, uh, that she'd not expected the conversation she had to be published. This is what was said. During the course of reading the many books on submission for the prize, I've been moved by the range of acute medical conditions and immense courage expressed in response to them, whether in a personal human capacity or as a medical scientist rising to the challenge posed. When last, Sunday, the, when last week the Sunday Times showed an interest in writing about the prize, I was glad to speak to them about it. Although anorexia is not a condition covered by any books on submission, I naively participated in a speculative conversation expressing off-the-cuff remarks without reference to evidence or current, of current thinking. Now that has caused enormous upset, and I'm deeply distressed that that should have caused so much pain. I've spent much of yesterday, some six hours I think it was, engaging with the many individuals on Twitter who were responding to my statement, reported statement, and I was involved in their concern. That mattered to me. I did not know the things I have learned since. Well, a um, very powerful statement there by uh, John Bakewell, Baroness Bakewell, and with me is Emma Wolfe, who's the author and broadcaster, and Emma's written extensively about her own personal story of recovery after 10 years of suffering from anorexia. Thanks for coming in, Emma. Um, well, first of all, uh, given you know, that you have acknowledged expertise and experience in this area, what did you make of that statement that uh, Joan uh, made there? Well, I think it was a gracious statement, and I think that um, if someone says they're sorry, they're genuinely sorry, one should accept that. I absolutely don't want to put the boot into her. She certainly got a, a pasting yesterday on Twitter. Um, but I think that that shows the strength of feeling around this, this issue. And I also don't think that if, if you don't know about a subject, you simply don't talk about it. I don't know anything about uh, Alzheimer's disease. I wouldn't therefore say to anyone, let alone a journalist, I wouldn't say that it was people being absent-minded. You know, it just, uh, it's too damaging and it's caused too much hurt, but of course one accepts her apology. She was very clear about that and, uh, and, and she's explained a little about the context uh, as she describes it. But what do you think led to these? Uh, it's the perception I'm interested in here. What led to the remarks in the first place and what is your experience of people's kind of rather casual take on some of these very serious issues? That's what it is, it's exactly that. It's that it's these casual comments and the reason there's been such a backlash is because it's too close to the bone. It's dangerously close to what people actually think. When she says, when she uses terms like narcissism, when she says that it's about wanting to be beautiful or wanting to be thin, when I weighed five stone, do you think I was beautiful? Do you think I thought I was beautiful? It, anorexia is so far away from wanting to be beautiful. It's even far away from anything to do with food. It's, it's a mental illness, it's an addiction, it's so many, I mean, it's so many different things. It's so complex and, and individual for each sufferer. But, but when someone makes these generalizations, and I'm not attacking the Baroness herself, yeah. when someone makes generalizations like this, it actually sets us back decades in terms of understanding the condition and in terms of treatment. Because in the public mind, and I don't want to offend anyone watching, thinking I'm not part of this, um, for lots of people, I suppose I should say, they assume it's part of a drive to be slim, and being slim is attractive, and being slim is what you need in today's society to, to appear to be successful and to appear to be attractive to other people. Of, is, of course. Th th that's the starting point. Dieting is completely mainstream. It's a female obsession and it's, gro it's becoming a male obsession too. The body beautiful, all of that stuff is completely mainstream. However, that, you know, in, in some ways it's very close to anorexia in that people start off dieting and then they, and then they yeah. become very sick. In other, in other ways it's completely, it's so far away from, from dieting. Because with diets people make jokes about having cake and not having cake. When, when you have anorexia, it's not a, you can't eat. When you, when you see these, these girls who are four or five stone, it really is, it's a, bra you know, it's a brain disease. And also Baroness Blackwell has not, has not um, even referenced the, all the neurological research. And there's lots of interesting stuff going on, finding that there are actually genetic links to, to anorexia. So there's, there's, there's a lot there to be unpacked. Just a brief final one, if I may, Emma. What do you hope will come out of this? Because clearly, uh, Joan Bakewell has 
uh, you know, been through a bit of a tough time over the comments she made, and, and she, she's apologised, as we said. But what, what do you hope can come out of it? I hope that we can actually set the record straight on what anorexia is and that it isn't anything to do with narcissism. And, you know, lots of people have been expressing their, their views and their experiences, and that's really powerful. The more we can talk about it, the better. Emma, good to talk to you. Thank, Thank you for coming in. Nice to see you. Emma Wolfe there for us with uh, her response to what's been said about uh, anorexia over the past few days.